Today we have such an exciting episode. I'm going to show you how to make my mother's garlic fish with fried potatoes. And let me tell you, this is a dish that I grew up eating as a kid and still enjoy today because it's got so many great flavors. Like seriously, this is what comfort food is all about. Anyways, this dish is basically cod that you fry in extra virgin olive oil until it's golden fried. And then you top it off with a tasty garlic sauce. And finally, serve it next to some fried potatoes to round it out for an incredible and delicious meal. Folks, we're talking very easy to make, uh, just a handful of ingredients and all done in about 30 minutes. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Karen Bird, uh, Barbara Eastman, Jim Schallert, and Sean Murphy. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by heating a large frying pan with a medium heat and adding in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. Now we're gonna be using this oil to fry the potatoes, so you can use other oils here if you like. However, by using extra virgin like they do in Spain is what gives the potatoes that incredible death of flavors. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna cut four medium-sized potatoes that have already been peeled, washed, and patted dry, each one to thick french fry style cuts. Of course, you can cut the potatoes in any style you like. The most important thing, make sure they're all similar in size, that way they all evenly cook. Then we'll add in the cut potatoes into the pan, and we'll mix them around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And you don't have to mix the potatoes around continuously, but do get in there every three to four minutes. That way they all evenly cook. In the meantime, let's start cooking up our fish. I'm gonna heat a separate fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. Then we'll cut a slit on eight cloves of garlic. And let me tell you, you wanna leave the skins on the cloves of garlic as that skin's gonna protect the garlic while it's cooking so it doesn't get a bitter flavor and it's also gonna give the garlic a beautiful buttery texture. And we'll add the cloves of garlic into the pan and give them a quick mix. That way they're fully coated in the olive oil. While the oil is heating and the cloves of garlic are infusing that olive oil, I'm going to pat dry two cod fillets with some paper towels. The size of each fillet is 8 ounces, which is about 250 grams. And I did buy the fish frozen and thawed it out beforehand. Of course, to make this recipe, you can use any other type of firm white fish, such as tilapia, halibut, or even hake, which is known in Spain as merluza. Then we'll season the cod fillets with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And then we'll coat each fillet in some all-purpose flour. And like I told you in the past, by taking this step, that flour is not only going to give a beautiful crust to the fish, but it's also going to ensure that it stays nice and moist and that it doesn't fall apart once it's cooked. Okay, let's move back to the fry pan. After cooking the cloves of garlic between three to four minutes and they're lightly golden fried and they even fused that olive oil, I'm going to remove them from the fry pan and set them aside. Then we'll add in the cod fillets into the pan. And we're gonna go for about three minutes per side here until the cod fillets are golden fried all around and they're fully cooked through. And once again, don't forget to mix those potatoes around every three to four minutes. That way they all evenly cook. Once the cod fillets are golden fried and they're fully cooked through, I'm gonna remove them from the fry pan and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in one small onion that I finely chopped and four cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the ingredients around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And as you know, I like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about three to four minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If white wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for any broth of your choice with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. We'll also add in two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley. Add in one bay leaf, and season everything with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture.
After about three to four minutes, and the white wine has reduced in half, and all the alcohol has been cooked off, I'm gonna turn off the heat and add in the cod fillets back into the pan. Then we'll drizzle some of the sauce over the cod fillets and place a lid on the pan to keep the ingredients warm. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been cooking between 20 to 25 minutes, and as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color, and they should be perfectly cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna start removing them from the fry pan and transferring them over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath. And then we'll season the potatoes with a kiss of sea salt. And as for the olive oil that we fried the potatoes in, you just run it through a fine sieve, which is gonna help clean it up. That way you can use it on future recipes. All right, let's start plating our dish. I'm gonna add in one of the cod fillets into a serving plate. Top it off with some of the garlic sauce. And add some of the fried potatoes next to the cod. And for the final touches, I'm gonna garnish with a couple cloves of garlic that we fried earlier, and as you can see by cutting that slit on them, the skin is easily removed. And some fresh parsley. Check it out, folks. My mother's garlic fish with fried potatoes, known in Spain as bacalao al ajillo con patatas fritas. Beautiful presentation, very easy to make, and all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I'm telling you, the aromas in the Spain on Four Kitchen today are absolutely delicious. There's so much garlic goodness. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be no vampires passing through here tonight. <laughs> Seriously, let's give it a try. Here we go. Yeah, cod just melts in your mouth and the garlic sauce is insanely delicious. Let's chase that with one of the fried potatoes. In my opinion, it just doesn't get any better than that. Super easy to make. Folks, give this a try at home. Serve it next to tomato salad, uh, crunchy baguette, and of course a bottle of Spanish wine, more specifically from the wine region of La Rioja, which is one of my mother's favorite wine regions, and you're gonna have what I consider to be one of the best meals of your life. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time. Hasta luego.